Hello everyone, this is Roxas only 59 welcome back to Transformers! Last time, we attempted to go through Antarctica to get ourselves some more Minicons after getting all the Minicons inside of the Deep Amazon. In this episode, we're going to be heading back to Antarctica, this time with a different Minicon loadout. And we're heading to the Research Center where four heavy units were dropped. That's just not fair. Four heavy units? Now, what is the Minicon loadout I changed out? I got rid of Deflector for Shield Wall because the uh, units are going to be firing prime. Oh, wow. Blue does nothing. Alright, so first things first, let's get this Datacon. TV spots. Grenades. Grenades hurt. Probably gonna die, honestly. Oh, now you're shooting blasters at me. Gonna grab this datacon, which is art. Okay. Uh, well, I managed to get some of the data cons. Really, this is, looks like this is going to be one of those times I'm just going to die a lot. Seriously, four heavy units? Well, let's hurry up and get everything that I can. Nothing. Ah. Okay, looks like we got another Datacon here. Some comics, the Dreamwave comics. My mistake, calling them uh, something else. Nope, nothing there. Nothing there. Perfect, a minicon. I knew there would be a minicon in here. Just had to look hard enough and die a lot of times to get it. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, meet one of the best minicons of the game. Build up, auto repair. This minicon constantly repairs the Autobot systems, restoring lost energy. On build up is always active. So that's a good minicon to get, ladies and gentlemen. Here's where Starscream was. Kind of blew myself up on that one. I don't think there's any more inside of here. But as you can see, there is one over there. And I died. Well, I think we got everything from inside the research center, which is what I wanted to do. So now we're going to head off towards the hill over here. 
and we're gonna fly. Yeah, here come the drop ships. Don't want them. Don't want to deal with them. Because as you can see, there is an area right over this way, very far off the beaten path, with Um, with a light over there and that's where we're going to fly to just ignore me heavy units dang it I ran out uh oh I think the flying unit saw me Ah, you're a sniper. You're one of the rarer units. Don't care that I crash landed. Because there is a minicon right here. Which is ours for the taking. Ah, yes, the purple buildup. Ladies and gentlemen, meet comeback reactivation. This minicon automatically revives the Autobot with the full Energon recharge. At the moment of stasis lock, comeback is always active, but can only be used once between visits to HQ. We're gonna send you back to HQ. I'm gonna just kill myself right now. We're gonna return to HQ because now we only have three minicons left. I think we have all the data cons. If not, we're missing one. I'm gonna get rid of Slapshot, because while Slapshot proved to be useful, Slapshot also proved to be my undoing. Uh, I should mention, heavy units are not affected by Twister. So, be careful with that. Take that as you will. Pressure point, look out. Slipstream, shield wall, we're getting rid of you. Because I miss my, oh, I miss my deflector. Overwatch Not that good At least through what I could tell If it's in groups of enemies It's probably better Um That should be good For Slipstream And everyone else Because of that I always get lookout Because I like my sniper rifle But at the same time well, no, because the only reason why I had Slapshot with me was because I needed to destroy the barriers and everything. Plus, if I end up going back to Antarctica, which I'm probably going to be doing right now. Um, no, because I think I need High Jump in order to be able to get the remaining Minicon, which are three. And yes, I am missing one Datacon. So we're going to go back to our first level, the Amazon, where we have seven Datacons and three Minicons. Minicons, I generally know their location, which is good. The uh, One of them, though, is a pain in the butt to get, and is why I probably shouldn't have gotten Lookout. I probably should have gotten someone else. So we're going to start up at the Mountain Ruins, and we're going to try and fly towards our first one. I think the spider tanks are going to spawn, though, which is going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, heavy units are going to be everywhere inside the jungle. You can see there is a minicon on top of a hill, and there's a heavy unit right there. That is the hardest minicon for me to get in this game because of the fact that there are so many heavy units and the fact that it will shoot me while I'm flying. Yep, deal with you. Okay, that was close. 
Man, what is with this hill and causing so much slowdown? There we go. Now you can see the lights from right here. And what the worst part is, I can't take out that heavy unit with lookout from right here. Because if I could, then that minicon would be ours to get really easily. Like, I think I'm barely out of range. Let's go down a little bit and see. Okay, that was close. Yeah, see, it's too far away. That's probably a data con. Oh, uh, they're dropping off units. Covert would be very helpful if it weren't going to run out while I was flying. And I should mention, when they see you, they still shoot at you. We're going to try it. See, there's a heavy unit right there, too. The other hard part is the fact that I gain altitude. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 Yes! Oh, what is with these backtracking episodes and me getting so lucky? Yes, the blue missile launcher minicon. This one's actually pretty good. Meet Heavy Hailstorm, the heavy cluster rocket. This minicon launches a cluster of four free flight rockets at the target. Press the R2 button to launch the rockets. This is a pretty good minicon to get. Now we're gonna try and get the other minicon that's over this way. If you remember, this was a minicon I tried to get earlier, but was unable to because of the fact that I couldn't get over. This might be a datacon, actually. Yeah, it's a datacon. Yeah, I, I realized it later on just now that this might be a data con well on the bright side I got the really hard mini con so and it's always good to get a data con because there's a lot of these we got art all right so we got a data con now we're gonna fly back we're gonna go back up to the top of this hill and then we are going to go across this, climb back up the mountain, because what I need to do is I need to fly to it. As long as I'm getting the mini cons, I can dedicate a video to just data con collection, which while being annoying, isn't too bad, especially since I'm missing one data con in uh, Antarctica. And one data con in. Whoa. Why don't I just get myself killed, actually? Because that'll make me go up the hill faster. Whoa! What launched me? And why am I clipping so much? Ugh, that's horrible. Does not matter, we don't need to fight you. Um, let's go for the farthest one, shall we? Even though that could be just a data con. That's the worst part. I generally know the location of minicons, 
But they also could be data cons, which is not good. Because I could be wasting my entire time. But at least I'm close to areas on this one. Alright. Just gonna keep flying. That's a data con. Like some of these I know are data cons. Uh, the one over there on that hill I think is a mini con. But I, I want to get the ones that are extremely far away so then I don't have to worry about them later. Do, 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 do. Just fly in. Don't mind me. I think this is the biggest level out of all of them because of just how expansive this map is. It's kind of a shame I can't put the camera behind me. You can glide for a very long time, too, if you know what you're doing. Okay, are these connected, or is there a slope or something that's going to prevent me? Okay, we're going in hard. Sweet. Datacon. One of these is a minicon. I know one of these two was. Times like this, I probably should have brought Twister. Don't mind me. I'm just going to get these minicons. Datacon? Wow. I lucked out. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Just kill me. I'll accept fate. I accept fate. Send me into stasis lock. Do it. Do it. Thank you. You just saved myself a trip. All right. So I'm... I want to get more minicons. I don't want to just get data cons. So we're going to go for another one of the farther ones. Oh, no. Well, that was a shame. Well, I could still probably make this. I think there's... Is that a data con or a minicon? It's a minicon. Transform! Wow, that took an entire health bar. But it's for a datacon. I ex you just popped in. Don't mind me. I'll just be grabbing this too. It's another datacon. <sighs> Music. Ooh, that's a rarity. Okay, there it is. <laughs> that one causes a heavy unit to spawn, and it will always curb stomp you if you do not move. I love that. Kill me. Just kill me. Come on. Just kill me. There we go. Joke's on you. I keep the collectibles I've collected. All right, this time, let's not get shot. All right. That one has to be a minicon, because I think I've gotten all the data cons now. Which is dumb. Okay, let me count. One, two, three, four, five. So this one could be a data con. This one's another data con. I'm going to be so upset. 
Because most of this episode's been me getting nothing but data cons. All right. Come on, baby. Do the locomotion. Hello. Okay, you have spider tanks. Minicon! Finally! I had to roll that luck dice enough times. Ooh, yellow blaster. You are firefight! Super heavy blaster. This minicon upgrades the assault blaster to a super heavy assault mode. Press the R1 button to fire a single shot. Press the R1 button to charge the blaster and release fire. Ooh, I like this. And we've got three of the same color. Well, I should just have you kill me. Wow, double shot while in the air. I'm impressed. Just kill me. Actually, I can make this go by faster. Oh, Power Links never kills you. And if you're thinking what I'm thinking in which, oh, if I equip Build Up and Power Links, then I'll constantly be able to live. No, Power Link strains it faster than Build Up can actually build up your uh, Energon. So keep that in mind. All right. Okay. Ooh, that was close. All right. So we're going to go for... I'm gonna go over this way. Avoid the heavy unit. I'm gonna go on top of this hill over here. Does not matter. Minicon is mine. You are the green version of Twister, which is Tractor Beam. This minicon grabs hold of captured enemies in a force beam. Hold R2 to capture a target, press release it to drop them. Throw the target and release the R2 button to swing the while swinging the beacon. We are going to get send you to HQ. I'm gonna fly over this hill. That data con that's over here. Nice dodge, Optimus. Such a shame that you ended up, you know, ragdolling. Well, I ended up right where I needed to be. Is this not a data con? Is this a mini con? No, nope, this is a data con. And more music. Kill me! See how much of a shot. That was a little ragdoll. Interesting. <laughs> Pretty good. Still not as good as Lookout, though. Why am I gathering in there, John? These guys are supposed to kill me. There we go. Now there's one minicon left and no data cons left. But I think we're done with the backtracking. So there we go. That should be everything that I want to get right now that I can get. So let's check. No, that is all the minicons. And we're missing one data con. Interesting. Interesting. I only... Oh, right, right, right. We did get three minicons. Okay. 
So we're missing no minicons there. We're missing three minicons here, one of which I know I have to have high jump to get. Two of them, actually, I need to have high jump. And we have all other minicons. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This is the Roxas 1359. I'm going to modify my minicon loadout, and next time we're going to be continuing with the story in the Mid-Atlantic. See you all next time.